Hey, what's up, folks, and welcome to week three of Infant Massage. Hopefully, if you're here, it means that you've been with us for weeks one and two, which means that you spent a week or three times doing legs, feet, belly, and then you spent another week doing legs, feet, belly, arm, chest, arm, hands, and now we're gonna do legs, feet, belly, chest, arms, hands, and face and back, and then we're gonna put it all together. So um, I really encourage you, if you haven't spent a week doing those things, go back and do them. It'll make your baby more uh, used to the massage for when it comes time to put it all together. And thank you, thank you for taking this time to make a better world. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right in and get started. Um, and I'm going to do first just adding in the face and back and then I'm going to go through the whole series again and really focus on each stroke so you can get kind of a look again at how it looks when it goes all together. And you want to aim for about 10 minutes. So this shouldn't take too long for you, this shouldn't take long for your baby, it should be just the right amount of time that you can easily incorporate it into your routine and so they don't get fussy. Just to say, because I don't think I've said this already, is that um, you can start infant massage as early as three weeks. You know, the first three weeks is a little bit hectic, and babies are kind of still coming into their bodies. New moms, if you've given birth, are also still coming back to your body. You're recovering and, you know, getting used to a very crazy sleep schedule. So about three weeks is a good time to start, and up until crawling. Once they get into crawling, they're going to be way more interested in whatever's across the room and not want to sit still, unless you do it really, really right before bed. But the good news is, for a while when they're crawling, they might not be as into the massage, into sitting for the massage. But what I've heard and what I've found to be true is that babies who are massaged when they're younger are more open to massage later on. So once they become toddlers or, you know, even later into their childhood, they might be like, rub my feet, or they might still be into it as long as it is still consensual as always and age appropriate. So we're gonna get right to it. You can start with your baby. By now maybe you found a sitting position that's good for you. I'm gonna try and get this angled right so you can see. Honey, um, make sure the room is warm. Yeah, make sure that you're doing it at a time that's good in terms of their eating cycle. Uh, use a really great oil. By now maybe you found a good oil or an oil blend that you like. And you can have them wearing a diaper and not wearing a diaper. You can get a good pillow from your, let's find a different pillow. Here's a good pillow from your bedroom. Get your good smell on there. And there you are with your baby. So, make sure to do your little self-care moment. Get in a good place. Set an intention that's right for you. And get the oil on your hands once you feel calm and centered. And make sure they hear that sound. They know something good is coming. Ooh, massage is coming. I'm going to start with the first and most important part of infant massage, which is asking permission. Say, is it okay? Is it okay if I give you a full body massage? Maybe they say, oh yes, give me the massage. Oh yes, massage time. So we're gonna pretend for the purposes of this course three that you've already done legs, feet, and belly, chest, arms, and hands. And we're gonna go right to the face. So, we're doing again, repeating some of the basic principles of the moves we've already learned. And so we're gonna start doing open book on the forehead, right there. And again, babies, you know, they can be really sensitive in their face, especially I think if they've had a vaginal birth, it's like, like crazy intense pressure has gone through their face. So this can again be a place that's sensitive. There's their eyes, their nose, their mouth, a lot of senses going on there. And the massage can actually bring 
sensory awareness to those areas, but also might create a little bit of, mm, what are you doing in the beginning? So it really depends on your baby, follow their feedback. If they start to be fussy, you can always go slower right and deeper and do something that's a little bit more just like rubbing instead of trying to do pressure or instead of going too fast because that fast thing is more stimulating you know I think if someone does this on your eyes maybe that feels really good to you I actually love that but um, but it's definitely more stimulation than someone doing this as a side note let me just say massage is also good for adults and partners you know, having a new baby time is a great opportunity to give everybody involved a massage. So, we're gonna go back to the face and you can hold them, of course, be conscious of their ears, but you wanna just kinda get that forehead zone. This is good for frontal cortex development. It's also good for just clearing any stress the baby might have absorbed. So, open book over the top of the eyebrows. And then you're actually gonna do open book similarly on the eyebrows. So kind of get on that eyebrow area. You don't wanna be in their eye anywhere, but on the eyebrow. So open book on the eyebrow. We're gonna keep going with the same motion all the way through the face. So then you're gonna start at the bridge of the nose and down on top of the cheekbones. Open book, really just opening up the entire face. And then you're gonna go right between the nose and the mouth, and you can think of it like mustache, really drawing that mustache there. And you can feel even in yourself this gum area, actually feels really good to touch. And you can even take it all the way out under the cheekbones, right there. Again, feels really good on adults. Too. So we're doing mustache, just moving down, and then kind of smile under the lips. So there's the mouth, you're gonna get on their chin and just smile up, right here, up. Once you do that smile up, you're gonna get some just good jaw circles going on. Jaw circles, again, only doing maybe two, two of these. If they seem to really like it, you can do a few more. And then this beautiful stroke, we're gonna go behind the ears with both of our hands and stroke under the jaw, meeting at the top of the jaw. So under the ears, up to the top of the jaw. So behind the ears, under to the top of the jaw. And you can feel on yourself we hold a lot of tension in this area. And so kind of getting that, just imagining moving out the tension. If you want to imagine that you have a cord that connects to the earth and you're just letting go of all the tension of you and your baby there. So I'm gonna do that again, just so you can see. I'm gonna start just open book, moving down from the forehead to the eyebrows, to the top of the nose, getting this kind of mustache going under the nose and under the cheekbones, this kind of lower smile, reaching up to the jaw, and then little jaw circles. We have such tiny little jaws, little jaw circles, and then coming all the way behind the ears and under the chin. Releasing any tension, just loving their little face. And then, you know, people, it feels really good. All this head stuff, for me, head stuff is my favorite. Babies, they have that soft spot, so you don't really want to go pushing around in their head. But me, kind of just for completion, I like to do just a little bit of combing back. Just combing back as you transition to the back body. Combing back. And then you're going to reposition them and go to their actual back. So this is another place. If the pillow is working for you, you can keep them on the pillow. Um, if you want to cross your legs, you can even put the pillow on your leg. If it's better for you to have it in front of you like that, you can keep it in front of you and have your baby there. 
Some people, at this point, they can even put that baby just right in their lap, like that. And if you want to, you can even do over one shoulder that way. So for the video, I'm going to keep Honey on their back like this so you can really see what I'm doing. And you know, the babies, they have that cute little chicken-like thing when they're lying down and so sweet. And of course, their head's going to be up and they're going to be all just like, ooh, what happens now? What happens in the back? <laughs> So we're going to get started, and we're going to start with a move called back and forth, right? So starting at the kind of shoulder area, back and forth, back and forth. This is so good for developing balance, proprioception, and general embodiment. And then you can grab the feet, and I like to do just a little kind of grounding sensation on their feet, just imagining their feet really making contact with the earth. You can do that again, back and forth, back and forth, all the way past a cute little butt. You can even do some extra butt circles in there if you like, little butt circles, and then keep going back and forth. If it's easier, you can do one leg, back and forth to the foot, and then the other leg back and forth. To the foot. Now we're gonna do just basic sweeping. So you can start at the top of the head and sweep down to the buttocks. Right, top of the head, sweep down to the buttocks. I also like at this point, sweep down, you can take an arm, take an arm, and then with your other hand, down to the buttocks. Again, sweeping from the head all the way to the arm, and with the other one, down to the buttocks. And then now we're gonna go even stronger and not pushing too hard in the head. It's more just a gentle caressing kind of thing. All the way down to the bottom of the feet. Sweeping from the head down to the bottom of the feet. If you want to, sweeping one leg and then sweeping the other leg. Sweeping one leg, sweeping the other leg. Sweeping both legs. Being generous with your massage, being two-handed with your massage. All the way grounding to the bottom of the feet. And then I love this one. It's kind of wax on, wax off. And they call this little circles. Little circles. You can even reach your hand around to the side body. Get a little more armpit. Always good to get some extra armpit in there but just generally wax on, wax off. Past the buttocks, you're gonna put a little extra pressure on the butt, especially as they're starting to sit up. A lot of babies will use primarily their butt muscles when they do that. So you wanna can come here, you can do a little extra circle action with your fingers or your thumbs at the butt, and then all the way down, circles, 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 doing one leg or circles, circles, circles doing two legs. Back circles, butt circles, leg circles, grounding feet. And to finish it all off, you're going to do some nice combing, right? Just like you're brushing their whole back body, brushing down their legs, brushing down their arms, brushing everything nicely to that grounding place. If your baby seems really into touch, you can also try doing raindrops. I love that. Imagine like a cool, cleansing rain. Just all the way cleansing rain. And at this point, you finish the massage. It's probably a great time to pick them up and give them a nice hug. Thank them for being born. Thank yourself for taking a moment, ten, ten of them, hopefully, to take care of the babe. And you can do whatever comes next in baby land. Maybe it's time to eat. Maybe they want to nap. Anything like that. Hi, infant massage. Yeah, I hop it, baby. <laughs> cool. You can check back at the videos anytime um, if you want to be uh, guided through the strokes. And that is all of it. I'm going to do it now one time through just so you can see how it all fits together. And thank you all so much. Appreciate you watching and uh, much love.
gonna put them there by now. Maybe you found the way that's right for you to hold them. Maybe it changes every time. I'm just gonna go through the strokes one or two times each so you can kind of get that visual idea of what it looks like when it's all together. So, I'm gonna start, get your oil on. Take that moment to center yourself. Think a happy thought, think a loving thought. Take a breath and enjoy the experience of just being present in the world of loving touch with your baby and present it to them. First and most important part of infant massage is asking permission. So is it okay? Is it okay if I give you a massage all over your beautiful body? And remember, consent in the beginning is not consent for the entire thing, right? If they start to give you signs like they don't wanna do it, take a break. If they start to cry, follow yourself around what's right for that. Watch video two um, for more about crying. For now, let's say honey's like, oh yeah, mama, give me that massage. So you can get the oil all over their legs, preparing to work on the legs. You can even get some oil on their arms, getting that sensory full body awareness going. And two legs. We're gonna start with one leg and just Indian milking, pulling circulation down to the foot. Indian milking. Next, hug and glide. So a little squeeze and twist. Hug and glide, hug and glide, all the way to the foot. And then thumb over thumb, opening the bottom of the foot. Thumb over thumb. Little baby reflexology points. You're gonna start at the top, sinuses. Doing it this way or this way, whichever feels right. Middle, respiration and the bottom, digestion and elimination. I'm gonna go, oh, we forgot. We're gonna roll each toe. L Lint patrol time. How could we forget about rolling each toe, each beautiful toe? And we're gonna go little steps, little steps. Like you're gonna take little steps, little steps. Turning the foot over, thumb over thumb, opening the top of the foot, Little ankle circles, little ankle circles. Bring it on home. Swedish milking, Swedish milking. And roll it out, roll it out. One leg integration, two leg integration. I'm gonna start again on the other leg. Indian milking, Indian milking. Bringing the circulation down. Hugging and gliding, hugging and gliding, hugging and gliding to the foot. And then thumb over thumb on the bottom of the foot. And lint patrol, rolling each toe with that twisting motion that's really good for joints. So, rolling each beautiful little toe. And now they're ready. Baby reflexology points. Again, it looks like a human body. So the top for really good sinuses and the middle for really good breathing and the bottom for eliminating. And then walk it out. Little steps, little steps, little steps. Moving on to the top of the foot. Opening the top of the foot. Opening, opening little ankle circles, little ankle circles. Bring it on home. <gasps> Swedish milking, <gasps> Swedish milking. Roll it out, roll it out. One leg integration, <gasps> two leg integration, two legs with some butt. Again, you can kind of go like this. You can do circles, butt, 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 butt massage, yeah, yeah, yeah and all the way to the feet. <laughs> Time for belly, get more oil on your hands. Check in again. Is it cool to touch your belly? Okay. Taking a calm moment at the belly, imagining light coming through your hands, healthy organs, and we're gonna start waterfall. Just bringing the energy down, relaxing, relaxing, relax. And we're gonna go wheel, put
pushing again digestion going clockwise from your perspective moving out moving out anything that it's time to get rid of going to open book under the rib cage opening up for more focused work on the colon with other people's favorite stroke i love you so i i i descending colon with an l for love transverse descending love love and then bring it all the way around you ascending transverse descending who do i love i love you i love you i love you i'm gonna clean it out with some nice sun and moon so halfway around for moon all the way around for sun and there's that valve right there that's good for releasing so halfway around for moon all the way around for sun making nice with the belly little steps across the belly little steps making nice and going right into chest butterfly butterfly i like to hook again around the elbow or around the shoulder just ooh butterfly down like that butterfly and then you can do this heart opener one you're actually making a heart on their body <gasps> open heart <gasps> open heart and then moving to arms oh we're gonna do arms yay for arms and then picking one arm i'm gonna Switch my position a little. Hopefully you can see better. All right. One arm and it's the same thing. So Indian milking, Indian milking down to the hand. Hug and glide, hug and glide on the arm. And then opening up the hand, open book, open book. Getting each finger, twisting, good fingers, happy hands, blessing these hands, little thumb, everything they're gonna do with the hands. Little handprints, little handprints, back of the hand, opening the back of the hand. Some nice wrist circles, wrist circles, bring it on back. Sweet as milking. Sweet as milking. Roll it out. Roll it out. And here's where you get to do that great armpit, pit stop time. This is opening up lymph and all that other good stuff in the pit. And bring it back. Bring it back. Here we go. One arm integration. <gasps> two arm integration. Yay, we have two arms. Going to the next one. Indian milking. Indian milking, hug and glide, hug and glide. Opening up the front of the hand, open hands, rolling each finger, yay for all your fingers, yay for your beautiful little hands, and little handprints, bop, 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 bop. Back of the hand, opening up the back of the hand and little wrist circles little wrist circles bring all that good circulation you brought back sweetish milking sweetish milking roll it out roll it out and again we're gonna do some nice pit stops you can do circles you can do lines do a little open the armpit get some good sweat going one of these days baby and then it's time for face might need a little bit more oil here say hello to the face your beautiful faces oh my god your faces i'm gonna start open booking from top to bottom so forehead opening the forehead and eyebrows opening the eyebrows from the bridge of the nose on top of the cheekbones top of the cheekbones Getting that good mustache under the cheekbones, under the cheekbones, and that lower smile all the way to the ears, and then from the ears, behind the ears, under the jaw, 
off the chin, under the jaw, off the chin. I need to do maybe a little, a little extra third eye opener there for Bay. And then combing back the hair, combing back, caressing their beautiful head, my good brain, I'm learning so much these days. And it's time to transition to the back. So we're gonna do back time, starting just back and forth, back and forth. And then including their arms back and forth over their whole body. You can even kind of get around into the side body if you want, back and forth. Pick a leg back and forth, pick a leg back and forth and then some nice grounding little feet things. I'm sure you have no problem touching their cute little feet. And then we're gonna start back circles, back circles. Maybe circle the arm, right? Maybe give some extra love to that butt, small butt circles. And then pick a leg, leg circles to the foot, leg circles to the foot. And one more time, just because it feels nice. We're gonna do the other arm, arm circles, wax on, wax off, to the body, wax on, wax off, butt wax, all the way to the legs, and grounding time for the feet. Now we're gonna begin sweeping. I sometimes like to put my hand right here by their butt, so you're kind of really sweeping to the butt, sweeping to the butt, sweeping to that butt, and then full body awareness, sweeping the arms, the legs, all the way to the feet. Arms sweeping, legs sweeping. Arms sweeping, legs sweeping. And you do wanna balance out legs and feet, but actually getting one arm, then the leg, then the other arm, then the leg, then the this leg, then the that arm is really good for developing um, proprioceptive awareness and good for your nervous system actually to kind of mix it up. So you don't have to worry about like only right leg, then only right arm, you know, it's like you can just kind of freestyle jam. Then we're gonna close it up, imagining just all the goodness going from them. You can start at their head, but no pressure, that little soft spot, combing the arms, combing the back, combing the legs, combing the whole body, extra little foot grounding if you want. And again, combing, combing. And if you wanna end with some raindrops, if the baby seems to like that, you can do cool little cleansing raindrops everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Mm, maybe not on the feet, cause they'll be ticklish, but some nice, good little feet squeezing, squeak feet rubbings, always great. And then hold, yeah. Just seeing all that good energy go into all their development and feeling all that good energy in your heart that comes from caring for something that you love, including yourself. So thank you so much. This has been a full infant massage demonstration. If you'd like to hear more about the larger context for infant massage and uh, be guided through the strokes in manageable chunks so you can start doing it with your baby, check out the other videos. All right, thank you all and much love to all you out there. Mwah.